then so i've got um some notes written here so that i can kind of cover everything and make sure i get all the points across that i would like to get across and hopefully in a cohesive manner that that actually flows and um doesn't just end up with me rambling on making no sense and being no use to anybody so if you do see me keep glancing and kind of looking just looking at my notes just looking at my notes right so as i said oh gurgly sink going on in the background so as i said um i'm just getting ready for the day and i thought i'd bring you with me and have a chit chat whilst we're at it so i'm just going to cleanse my face first and i'm using my favorite cleanser which is the soap and glory peaches and clean four in one deep cleansing milk a deep thought if um you follow me on instagram hello please don't run out if you follow me on instagram you will see this every time i post one of my stupid makeup taking off videos um, which always entertain everybody so do you go and have a look for those if you don't already follow me on Instagram okay so then I'm just gonna remove that with um, a toner and this one I've only used once it's a brand new one I used it once yesterday couldn't believe how much better my skin felt like instantly so I'm hoping that this is now my new holy grail so this is the simple uh, soothing facial toner 100% alcohol free I should really well hope so um so yeah let's just get that all over the mush and get this cleanser off next eye cream again because it's winter or it's going into autumn winter I'm trying to like catch it before it starts um so I've kind of upped the uh, eye cream situation so I was using an eye serum from revolution but I just felt like I needed something a bit beefier. So I've gone for the Superdrug Vitamin E Skincare Range uh, Nourishing Eye Cream. It's just a bit thicker and um, I don't know if it does do anything more hefty than the Revolution one. But there we go. It, that's just that's just kind of how I feel like it's, it's working. Oh my God, I love this cream. It's so like just glider. There's no... Glider. Why did I say that like that? Um, it just glides. It doesn't stretch and pull at your skin, but it doesn't feel oily and greasy either. Like I just love it so much. Yeah, I just feel like it's a bit more like oomph to it than um a serum at the moment because I have noticed the fine lines are coming. Not impressed. There we go. Comes to us all. Oh, I nearly forgot my serum. I've got the Revolution Bacuccio serum, which I love. It's purple. I mean, hello. I kind of catch myself doing this thing where I'll plan a video or I'll think, oh, I'll make a video on that because I find it really interesting. So if I find it interesting, maybe somebody else will find it interesting. But then I kind of talk myself out of it thinking, why do you want to speak on that? You're not the authority on that subject, whatever it may be. But then I think, who cares? Nobody's the absolute authority on anything. Who cares whether I am the authority on what I'm talking about or not? I'm allowed an opinion. It's my channel. My favourite Johnson's face cream. Love it. This is the one I panic. If I'm down to like my last bottle, which I've just opened this and this is my last pot of it. So I'm going to have to go and buy about four more. Like I have to have a stock of it just in case they ever stop doing it. St. Drives used to make a shower gel and I absolutely loved it. It was the only shower gel ever in the world that um, exfoliated my skin, left my skin really nice and clean and fresh, but didn't uh, dry it out, didn't make it feel tight. Like it was just the best shower gel I've ever used in my entire life. And obviously about six months after I discovered it and was absolutely using it religiously, they discontinued it. And I think you can get it in America. But obviously I'm not in America. So if anybody goes to America and would like to bring me some home, that would be marvelous, thank you very much. Skincare done, we are clean as a whistle, ready to cover it all up again. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Morphe palette, which, I'm not going to do like a big review on the palette don't worry but i was kind of really skeptical because I, I usually buy you know very much drugstore things very much um i'm not spending a fortune on palettes um i'm a revolution girl at heart and we all know they are so affordable so things that are a bit more pricey like your jeffree star things your morphe palettes your anastasia beverly hills palettes i'm a little bit skeptical i don't know i just felt really scared to spend like 
40 pounds on an eyeshadow palette where i'm used to spending like 10 maybe um when i didn't know whether the quality was worth the extra or or what um so then when jeffree star brought out this with morphe i kind of figured okay two birds one stone i can test something of jeffree star i can test something of morphe's then it was um a bit more affordable than a standard jeffree star palette then i got a cord to use as well so i got some money off um so yeah so tried it and i've been obsessed with it ever since like it's incredible i'm so happy so um yeah i'm just gonna use this one again because i'm really enjoying using it so we're just gonna go back in with this one okay let's get into the main situation Ms. kylie jenner um i'm just going and color correcting with the revolution conceal and defy no conceal and correct sorry in peach so yeah miss kylie jenner so kylie jenner is the youngest of the kardashian jenner clan um i think she's 21 22 now obviously she was kind of born into the fame of it all which must be mental like People love to rag on the Kardashians and the Jenners, but oh my God, imagine growing up under that scrutiny. Like, yeah, they've got loads of money, but people act like money will solve everything and you're just, you know, you're totally untouchable if you've got a certain level of money. Like, that's just rubbish. You're still a person. Like, yeah, you can probably cheer yourself up a lot better and a lot quicker, but you're still, you're not immune to people being nasty to you or judging you or staring at you or you know not being able to just pop to the shop for some milk like it just it just must be amazingly just weird um growing up the way she's grown up like can you imagine can you imagine i can't imagine that's the thing i cannot imagine i can't see this is why i need notes because i'll just go off and waffle okay 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 right now i'm gonna brighten the eye with the conceal and hydrate in c 0 0.5 just gonna use that as a bit of a uh, base for my eyeshadow and obviously with it being a lot lighter than my skin tone it'll make them pop okay so in 2015 if you didn't know um kylie jenner launched a makeup line and i think it was just called kylie lip kits uh at the start um, and that's pretty much all she sold it was just the liquid lip colors with corresponding lip liners and that was that in two was it 2016 um i think um the company changed to kylie cosmetics and then we had things like eyeshadows this march so 2019 the business valued by forbes at 900 million dollars um so then you put that with kylie's other assets and that gave her a net worth of a billion dollars which is insane it's actually insane whether she's the first one to do it whether she's had help or not whether she's self-made or not it's incredible for somebody to be worth a billion dollars like how incredible must that be let's face it and i think at the time forbes actually used the phrase first or the youngest self-made billionaire and oh my god what an inflammatory statement that was like i get if she wasn't the first i get if she wasn't the youngest like i get if they've got that wrong and you know they've maybe overlooked other people for, for a variety of reasons that absolutely is an issue but it's just not the one i'm talking about today because i don't know enough about it to be honest which in itself is probably a problem the bit i want to talk about today is the absolute just vile things people were saying because she hasn't started from where they're at and that was the crux of it that was the thing that people were really kicking off at it was like she's not self-made because she already you know was born into a family with money and she already had contacts and she already had this and it's like okay she still utilized it efficiently what are you doing and that, that is what I want to talk about because it made me really, really sad before I get into the sadness of it all. Um, right, I'm going to go in and put down a transition shade and I think I'm just going to use this one um, called Lynn. Um, yeah, it just made me sad. Like, I'm in no way like some weird Kylie stan. 
at all like this isn't a whole leave Kylie alone um like I'm sure she doesn't give a toss about what I think of her or what anybody else you know what I mean like like she cares what I'm what my opinions are but the thing that made me sad is I just I can't stand it when people are like that when people just have that kind of mentality of oh no you're not allowed success because you had it easier than me or you know you find it a lot in talking about you know traumatic things with people dealing with mental health or you know trauma that's happened to them or things that they're struggling with it's like that but in reverse it's like no 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 mine's far worse you shouldn't whinge and it's like no come on everybody's on their own path everybody deserves to feel how they feel everybody deserves to have their successes congratulated and it should it should have no bearing on you whatsoever what somebody else does the only way you need to be affected by anybody else's actions is either to look at them and think oh that's not how i do it that's not the example i'm gonna follow so i'm gonna do the opposite because you are not what i want to be or the opposite or you look at somebody and you think bloody hell well done you right what did you do how can i emulate that in my own way because you're really inspirational that's the only time anybody needs to be affected by somebody else the rest of the time they don't need to affect you on a personal level you can just observe it and go huh and carry on um i will say there's quite a bit of fallout in this palette so if you're wearing black leggings like i am and you're doing this and tapping your brush over your leggings you get a little bit dirty um right i'm thinking i want to do like quite a natural i'm thinking like goldy kind of glowy um highlight quite kind of warm foundation so i'm thinking of going for like kind of browner tones what do you reckon <laughs> so i think i'm going to start with boss angeles which is this gorgeous warm brown color in the middle um, and i'm just going to start whacking that dons me crease I don't want to be like preachy about it i want to see like if you follow me on social media particularly facebook or twitter like i try my best to be so encouraging to people um and and support people because i want to see everybody doing well i want to see everybody happy and successful however that looks to you like every single person sees success completely differently what i think makes me successful might not be what you think makes you successful and that's fine i think though money is the one that we all kind of think well yeah if i had loads of money that would just make everything brilliant and like I, I don't think so yeah for me it was like trying to work out what people were mad at it was like are you mad that she is a billionaire are you mad because you think she isn't self-made or is it that you know you think she isn't as self-made as you wanted her to be like because she's not from the streets with not a penny to her name and no resources no people around her are we only are we only pleased for people as long as they've come from you know being utterly broken first like like i get that it's brilliant to see the underdog succeed that's great but why can't we just be happy for everybody no matter where they've come from or where they've started from like I don't know i just i just have an issue with putting out more crap into the world that's already like filled to the brim okay so now i'm gonna go in with um calabasas this beautiful like ready brown shade it's gorgeous oh that looks pigmented Ooh. it's gonna end up being quite an autumnal look isn't it okay i absolutely guarantee that most people in the world now do have the resources around them to be anything they want I don't mean pots and money i don't mean you know you've got loads of people around you that are industry experts and you know all the rest of it but pretty much everybody if you can pop off on twitter and have a go at somebody you've got google you've got literally the world's information at your fingertip so whilst you've got your phone out and you're tip tapping being nasty to somebody or being jealous at somebody how about doing a few google searches how about sitting down and thinking and finding out what it is you want to do and how you can make it happen with what you've got right now like yeah it might take you years to build it up it might take a long time to learn but if you're passionate about something and you're doing it for the right reasons that will be part of the experience as well like 
if you're doing something just because you think, oh, I'm going to jump on that bandwagon, it'll make me a load of money. Mm, that's maybe not the best reason. <gasps> I'm loving that so far. Loving it all. Right, so I'm just going to keep deepening that up. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to use this as a way of encouraging and, you know, saying, right, how can we switch it from just being jealous about people and, you know, feeling like, oh, well, of course they did that they're further on than me. How can we switch that to something more positive? How can we make that about everybody getting a piece of the pie and everybody being super successful in what they want to do? Jessica Christmas, I'm loving this palette so much. So the thing is, if money is the end goal, if it's, you know, kind of, well, of course you've made loads of money, you've come from a rich family and you've come from this and you've come from that and I haven't and I've not got a rich family and I've not got all these experts at my fingertips, it doesn't matter if the end goal is still being comfortable with money and being successful and having that kind of you know super successful lucrative business project enterprise whatever you want to call it that's the finish line it doesn't matter where you started if you want to finish here and you're starting from here but somebody else is starting from here you, you can still get there. It's not a race. It's not about who gets there first. It's about just getting there. And it's, it might, it's going to take you longer. It's probably going to be tougher because you're going to have to learn about 75 million things. You're going to have to go and find things, whereas this person might already have that around them to just click the fingers and make it, make it do what it does. But that doesn't mean you can't get there. The main thing I got from that whole situation was people were pissed because she was being referred to as self-made when people felt like she'd had too much of a good start. Oh my God, I've, like, I've rarely been able to build up a crease to that depth just with one colour, just layering it without it going patchy and without there being like a ton of fallout on my face. There is zero fallout on my face and there is absolutely zero patchiness. It's incredible, I love it go and get one. Let's look then at what I would say being self-made is. To me, I think step one would be to find your passion. Absolutely find what it is you're passionate about because I feel like to get to any level of success, you absolutely have to eat, sleep, live, breathe, whatever it is you're doing. And if you're not interested in it and you're not focused on it and you're not passionate about it you are not going to give it the same oomph and the same drive and the same energy that you would if you were absolutely like it comes out of your pores passionate about it the next thing is to utilize your resources that could be your personality and your skills that could be the people around you and the skills that they've got what have you got in you or at your disposal that you can apply what is going to be useful to you to make you successful? Right, so I think I've decided on um, this gorgeous goldy colour, champagne goldy colour down here called Designer Label. I'm not bothering cutting the crease or anything like that. I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. And oh my God, these shimmers are ridiculous. They're so foiled and so creamy and so beautiful. We all start with completely different skills and ideas and ways of working and needs. I understand that it's frustrating to see somebody just seemingly kind of just walk away with the prize kind of deal. That still shouldn't mean that you're kind of spewing negativity and hit like how is that helping you just go with me in this situation if you're kicking off at kylie jenner over the fact that you don't think she should be called a self-made billionaire because she's come from a rich family how is that affecting her how like at what point do you think she's gonna go oh god you're totally right here let me give you it all like that's not gonna happen and that kind of energy that you're putting out there is not helping you either like putting that energy into learning your craft and learning how you can be as successful as you want to be like the only limits in life are the limits we put on ourselves 
You can be anything you want to be. You can be absolutely anything you want to be. <gasps> right, what do I want to put on the inner? What do I want to put on the inner? Um, shall we go a bit opposite and have the silver, the custom rims? Shall we try that one? Oh yeah, loving that one. That really brightens up that inner corner. Totally. Oh my God, loving that. Completely loving that. But if you just stop for a minute, tearing other people down and putting out negativity and you know kind of feeling that other people shouldn't be successful because you're not like that's that's just not a good energy to to even have anywhere near you not a good energy to put out into the world and if the minute you realize that you're actually stopping you by behaving that way and by having that negative oh i'm never gonna get anywhere mindset you never will get anywhere with that like if the minute you sit there and think oh there's no point trying because i'm never gonna get i'm never gonna be that i'm never gonna get that i can't do this i can't do that you never will the minute you you change i can't and i never will change that to oh my god it's gonna take me such a long time to do that okay where do i start where can i what have i already got where what, what's my starting point you're unstoppable obviously we can't all be like you know billionaires and like mega famous the world round but i don't think i'd want to be a little bit rich and famous would be amazing but i don't think i'd want to be kardashian jenna level like it's it's terrifying okay so bear with i'm just gonna go and do the rest of my face then we'll come back and we'll just have a little round up and a little, a little, what's the, what's the thing? A little, a little roundup, a little conflab, a little what have we learned today moment and what can we do with that information moment and um, and yeah, see you in a minute. There we go, all finished, what do you think? Um, so the nice natural kind of subtle look clearly went out the window and here we are with the whole shebang basically um i'll leave a list of all the products i've used down in the description obviously um but let's just have a bit of a recap so the real the reason i wanted to kind of put this out there was just really to encourage people to um not feel disheartened by other people um appearing to be more successful than you Obviously, I'm using Kylie Jenner as the example there because it was such a divisive um, topic when Forbes um, had their headline that she was the youngest self-made billionaire. Um, if it was absolutely easy for everybody to be a billionaire, we would all be billionaires. Obviously, it's not going to happen to that level for, to, for everybody, but there's nothing stopping you being absolutely successful in what you're doing it's a case of breaking out of that mindset of looking at other people and feeling negative and feeling down and feeling annoyed almost that somebody else has reached a certain level of success and it's maybe something that you want to achieve whether that's just financial whether that's in the industry that you want to be in um whether it's just a case of you're not really enjoying your life at the moment and you want to make some changes but you've not quite got to the point where you're willing to make some changes because that bit is the toughest bit i think definitely for me has been you know there's been a lot over the years of moments where i've sat down and thought i don't like this situation that i'm in and it's it's almost as if being bogged down in that situation stops you from being able to pull yourself out of it because feeling so bad about the situation you're in or just feeling so deflated and fed up is kind of using all your energy and it is easier to just sit there and just be mad about it and just be annoyed about it and be fed up um for some weird reasons we as humans seem to feel more comfortable in that so it does take a lot to think okay i don't like this situation or okay i want what they've got how can I get that? Being willing to make the changes. So I just wanted to kind of address that and hopefully motivate some of you and give you a bit of encouragement to let you know that you absolutely have got all the tools in the world to be a success and to find something that you're passionate about and to be an amazing success at it and to have the happiest life ever. If you have got 
the means to pick up a device and tweet something negative or put something on Facebook that's negative, then you've got time to Google a way to change your situation and to not just sit there and be miserable and to not just sit there and wish that you had something that somebody else has got. The only difference is they went and got it while you're sat there tweeting about the fact that you haven't got it. So get up, work out what it is you want to do, ignore everybody else. It doesn't matter. Wherever somebody else is on their journey has no bearing on your journey whatsoever. Wherever you are in your journey, keep putting one foot in front of the other, keep moving, keep pushing, keep striving, keep working, keep learning, and you will get there. There's nothing stopping you. The only thing stopping you at any point is you. Move away from where you are. Go and find some like-minded people. Research methods of manufacture or design or whatever it is that you want to do research it learn about it put in the ten thousand hours learn everything you can do absolutely live and breathe it do it with positivity and i guarantee you'll get there so i hope you've enjoyed this little get ready with me please go and give me a big thumbs up down there and um, leave me a little comment i love it when you come and comment i've had some of the most beautiful comments recently it's been so so nice so thank you so much if you've left me some encouraging words i really really appreciate it and i appreciate all of your support um so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah just make sure you have the most amazing day whatever it is you're doing for the rest of it why don't you just watch another video if you're not doing anything too exciting um and i will see you in my next one have a great day bye